In the previous episode, we redesigned the exhaust pipe to lessen the amount of cob needed for the Dragon Rocket stove. It's time to cob Mount Dragon. That's a lot to do, so here goes. Okay, we got a, a suggestion, which I think was a really good suggestion. Instead of putting the grate down here, which is what we were planning, we're gonna go ahead and put the grate up here. And then that way we can do a tube, a pipe down here and, and cob it in so that the heat can also radiate into the tube and then send that heat down into the basement. But we need to probably put this grate on first before I put this on here and then you can cob around the grate. So do we have a grate around here? Is this to the block just temporary enough to get the block in place? That's the air vent right there. It'll draw in air through here and then I should do it. What do I want to do? much better. Yeah, it looks good. Than just a vent here, you know? Yeah. Look at that masterpiece. I got my panda pajamas dirty. stove works really well. It warms my room all the time. Very nice. One thing that I think we should do is add a little more cob to it to make it a little more mass because I realize that I lose a lot of the heat out the chimney. The bottom part isn't really even getting hot that much. Just some more cob up here will eventually going to burn out and we're going to eventually have to replace that. Something thicker there. If you cob up the pipe too that would be phenomenal. Somehow attach it to the wall so the wall can obtain some of the heat would be nice too. It probably takes, I would say, an hour to heat everything up. Once you get these buildings warm, they like stay warm for about 24 hours. Distance between the top of the barrel and the riser is about two inches. If you picture like that much gas basically or that much heat coming out of a pipe like that, it needs to be able to escape down the sides of it. So an inch to an inch and a half to two inches actually would be nice. And having enough pipe with enough cob to store that mass is good. Discovered is kind of, this one has about 15 feet of exhaust pipe on this one here. We used about 20 on Garen's, and Garen seems to be the kind of the right size for overall length of pipe. Most of the cleaning is right in the, right underneath the burn chamber, which is right where your fire goes. I just take the shovel, just scoop it in there, and just, this thing, I'll probably look at like once a year or whatever, and there'll probably be a little, uh, little bit of ash in there. Okay, so the bench will keep your coffee warm, and the top of the burn chamber will cook your bacon, as long as you do a small fire. <laughs> Unless you want really charred bacon, which is good too. Yay, Bryson's back! Yay! My oh-so-lovely brother is back. I played, and now I'm gonna start working. I'm forming a foot, hopefully. We'll see how it looks. For the dragon head, we need something a little stronger to kind of support our cob as we're building up on the horns and the face and such. So, Dad came up with this idea to do kind of a wire uh, frame of it so that we could attach our cob, maybe foam. So he's working hard on that to make that happen. And then once that's done, we can start with the cob. The styles of head and stuff that we want to hopefully put on. Down there looks better. Well, the problem with down is that I need room to get wood in and out and I don't want to be banging on that. Oh yeah. Okay, look at these horns. They look small. I think we ought to maybe use that as a small horn out here. 
Yeah, my bee. And have the bigger horn. Oh, that looks kind of cool. See the jaws there. So somewhere like here. And yeah. then do your sockets. Yeah. I would not like Hold that. Like that. Yeah. Like yeah. that. That's yeah. exactly what I'm thinking. With that with a little bill on it. Yeah. Eyebrow. Man. Eyebrow and an eye socket. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cut the head. And dad coming in with the dragon head. Yeah. yeah we're still going to run um, rods through here and here. Uh, I think they're really good, dad. We'll probably um, fill the horns and stuff with foam so that it has a stiffness to it. We and it glues, glues the rods in too. Are you thinking like spray foam? Yeah, just the uh, like the insulation foam. That's really right. sticky stuff, lightweight. I didn't have plenty of cob on it so it won't overheat and, and melt or anything like that. So. Okay. Right now? Yeah. Oh! Ooh, gosh. Okay. And it's going to work for so us gonna now. you're going to just fill that with foam? I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my very airy best. Look away. That's not important. Oh, I made a boo-boo. More like six. I made six boo-boos. I think this is gonna all drip out the bottom and make a huge mess. But We're gonna just it. take a. We'll laugh at Our it. plan is to a take lot. a razor blade and just. Slice it up once it's done. Exactly. Wow, it's like a. It looks like Bozo the Clown. Cover this with something else. This is not the finished product. What are we gonna do about these holes? We're gonna Cob. refill it. Oh, okay. It was really sturdy, actually. More than I thought it would. Nothing that a little foam and wire can't handle. I think it looks like a, an old frog. Hi right, Bryson, so what do you think it looks like? I don't know. Looks like a dragon, I guess. It looks like a dragon? I really do think it looks like a frog. Like an Einstein frog. Or something. Are you guys just dragging this out or what? <laughs> Feeling funny at the moment. That was a... Feeling funny, my friend. I'm time, Dad. We're done now. Great climbing there, darling. We're gonna have to read <laughs> Stay tuned for next time as we continue building more on the Dragon Rocket Stove. We'll see you next time. Have a great week. Preston and I got a chance to go up and visit Garen for the last couple of days skiing and stuff. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. On our way home from uh, the ski runs, we saw a bunch of deer just like walking by us. And like, they were just really cool. No noise, stare, scared them away. They just looked at us and then you need to eat. And I was like, okay. We got a chance to go up there and sit on Garen's bench. It's, it is cool. It's a piece of artwork <laughs> that you sit so. Two snowboards, a metal frame, and that's the seat. Yeah, bench, and it's just, actually. it's cool looking. It's it just is, fun it to sit very... in. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. Can you say that again? You've been, what, about work? I've been dying to get back working. I find it, Bryson. I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. That was cracking. Really? Yeah. Right there.
And I we thought... were all like, Mom, 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 the shoe. Uh, embarrassing. Stop, stop. You're embarrassing me. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh you're daring ooh. to touch that. Like, I, I, dare, I dare you to stick your hand in that, Shay. We'll see you next time. Yo, Bree, you done starring? Nope. Five minutes. I gotta go again. <laughs> Leave us, Bryson. Oh, hey! <laughs>